There's a river that runs through my village. It is bone dry in the summer, not a drop of water for about four or five months of the year. However, five miles upstream, it's constantly flowing. Which raises a very important question, Sean. Where do those thousands of litres of water go? Oops, just left some mud on the floor. Better run before I get in trouble. <laughs> Drop my banana. And there we are, down on the dry riverbed. It's hard to imagine this river is pumping in the winter. Somewhere between here, a couple of miles up route, all the water disappears. I want to find out where. Oh, some litter. If you're going to collect rubbish with a rucksack, I've got two tips for you. One, put a bin liner in it. And two, use your wife's rucksack. <laughs> that way, you won't dirty your own. Oh, I'm going to get so much trouble. I've messed the house up. And now I'm using Caroline's rucksack. A little g &T. Nah, nothing left. It's good to pick up litter. But I'm also secretly hoping I might find some cool stuff. I am sweating. I used to live in Africa, you know. Don't know how I survived. It's probably why I moved to Wales. Oh, I guess to test me wellies out. Some rainwater. Whoa, slippery. Oh, found a fossil. Pretty sure that there is a fossil of something. I knew I'd find some treasure. Right, that's going to be my new thing now. Looking for fossils. Oh, I'm still going to be in this riverbed till like next week, aren't I? Oh, some rope. That is always useful. Oh, it stinks. Sorry, Caroline. Dug my grave already, so. Doesn't really matter if it's a couple of feet deeper. A bicycle! No way! <laughs> there are no towns or villages for like a kilometer up here, so that bike's come a long way downstream. We have the last of the wild garlic. Also, on the riverbank, guaranteed to have no dogs peed on it. <laughs> oh, yep, yep. Now put hairs on your chest. Oh, I forgot my daily nettle sting. So what I've been doing for the last few weeks, because I've started to get hay fever since Iron 105, is sting myself every day with nettles. <coughs> Got the old nettle. Basically, I just flog myself. Ha 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 ha! Oh yeah, that stings. Oh, oh, oh. They said it would get easier. It's not getting easier. They lied. Apparently, it was the Romans that used to do that oh, when they rode the ocean. Oh! I, I, honestly, I was genuinely looking for a ruler yesterday. I don't actually have a plastic ruler. I had to try and measure something that was 30 millimetres with a massive tape measure. That was a result. Anyway, what was I saying? Probably, probably something bollocks anyway. <laughs> Turns out pull-ups with nettle stung arms is actually a bit easier. Huh, who knew? Whee! That, in my head, massive octopus. The sensible thing would be to go under. Whoa. Sean, how'd you break your leg? Under this one. Whoa. Bugger. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh, <laughs> just tore a hole in my pants. Good thing I'm wearing boxes today, eh? <laughs> oh, my feet are starting to sweat in these wellies. Jackpot! That is a great fossil. I can carry it in my pocket. Well, these are cool cliffs. I reckon this is a good spot to have lunch. The whiskey in here is the whiskey I put in on my wedding day five years ago. Save it for special occasions, one sip. Oh, ho, 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 that's good. Ah, oh, got water in my welly. Wilson! Wilson, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bloody midgies. What are they doing here? There's no water in the river. And also, this is not Scotland. Go back to Scotland. Presume that private sign is for the land on the side of the river and not the river itself. Getting a bit bushy along here. Ah. There's been no water here for a long time. Full of plants growing in it now, which is impossible. How can plants grow in this rocky riverbed when I can't even grow a bloody tomato plant at home? <laughs> I found it. Look, there. And it goes, must go straight under the rocks here somewhere. Water comes down here. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Still there. So it must, it goes in there. Oh yeah. You can actually see it where it goes under the rock. Oh, there we go. It's answered me that question now. Where does the water go every summer? It was a great old adventure that, kind of pointless. Just got to walk upstream all day. Tore my shorts, stung my nettles. Can still do pull-ups, which is good. Yeah, and there's a metaphor for walking upstream, isn't there? You know, don't go with the flow, go against the flow. If you're lucky, you might find a fossil. Be rude not to have a little swim, wouldn't it? Now I'm going to walk home. <laughs>